Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I'm actually recording this on the GoPro. And I think I said in one of my previous videos that I wanted to. Um, and today's date is like January 15th or something. So it's probably been like a month and a half since I've recorded. And yeah, so I've been trying to use the GoPro for ages, but um, it's been really hard to try figure out how to record in the van and um, so I want to try figure out a way but in the meantime we're actually house sitting in someone's house which is cool and I might do a whole video on house sitting because I think it's a way that you could travel Australia or anywhere that does house sitting as an option um, really cheaply so I'm going to do a whole video on that so this video is going to be about January blues because I think this year it's kind of like a different kind of January blues that I've got because obviously I'm like in Australia I'm not like work's not busy or because last year I didn't really get the January blues because work was actually busier in January than it was in December which was weird um and then <laughs> this year I'm away so but one thing I would normally do when it comes to like January and the blues and stuff I would like think of my goals for the year and sometimes I do them at the end of the previous year which I normally write down my goals for the year figure out what I've done and what I've noticed the last couple of years whatever my goals are my whole life has like flipped upside down and gone completely in a completely different direction um to what I thought it was going to be I'm just going to do my skincare while I talk um I was doing a low so I got this in Aldi's it's like a, a neck and um, a chest and what's it a neck and decolletage serum and then I have some hyaluronic acid some sun cream and this which I'm nearly out of oh, I love this so much and it's so expensive everything I buy in my day-to-day -day life except for the ordinary that's still quite cheap Um, everything else like this is just like really expensive here compared to back home I normally get it for like two pounds and I know lots of people don't like it but I love it and but here it's like I've seen it for like $12 that's a lot of money anyway so um yeah so like when I think about last year um at the start of last year I was like oh maybe you know our house is like nearly finished because we were renovating a house um and I actually might insert a little video here of our house renovation from our TikTok and our TikTok is like something completely different but I'm gonna let you go There's a pretty one I assume where it goes Cause I really wanna wonder if she knows That we're underwater That's the way it goes In the city like i was at oh maybe i want a kid the house would be finished maybe we might like invest in another property take the equity out of our house like there was just so many different things so i think a goal was to maybe own another property together or like invest in something um and now to come to this January, and we're actually in Australia traveling for the year, which is just crazy. The things, because I feel like while I've been away, like I like to chill and lay back, but a part of my brain loves structure. Like there's a really big part of me that loves just structure and day-to-day -day things. So I'm just gonna share some things that I think really help. So I have one, two, three, four. I have five things here and then I'm gonna talk about some other stuff I've been doing. So I think these are things that help me with the January blues and I think I've been kind of going through it for a while because my life has changed so much in the last like um couple of months. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing is journal. Um and I know sometimes when people say like well, what do you journal about and things? And I think what you need to remember when you're journaling is you don't need to journal about anything in particular. You just need to journal like whatever's going on inside your head. So some, something that works for me is manifesting journaling. So while I'm journaling, like I'll say my perfect day, like manifest what my perfect day would be. Or I will journal just about my day and I'll add in a little lie, like something that I want to manifest. So. Oh, today I hit 50k subscribers or 
as you know i got a big brand deal i'm really excited or i got an email um we did this today or that today and it just kind of helped keep me kind of focused and grounded but when it comes to journaling sometimes i literally ask myself questions as well which is another one so i go how am i feeling today i'm feeling good okay what happened today that made me feel good I'm feeling absolute crap what happened today to make me feel crap sometimes like just like doing yourself at a template as well so you can have like the grateful goals um affirmations all the different things you can like write out a little template in your book i think just get yourself any kind of journal for now just to start with and then i like now i tend to get like nice journals and i have some yoda stickers and at the end of every day i put a little yoda sticker on my journal so that it's like i finished my journal for the day and i'm a little yoda sticker because it's cute so little things like that can help encourage you and i think when you watch other people journaling and they're like doing like four a four pages journaling it kind of makes you feel like under pressure like you should be doing that much journaling but i think realistically if you're only doing like half an a five page or something that's good enough for now you just need to do whatever feels good for you um, and focus on just different things so you can start off by just writing about your goals writing about your affirm uh, your goals writing out your affirmations loads of times um just loads of different kind of things and i can do a whole video on journaling if you want but i just kind of want to go through the basics gratitude so every day i do three things i'm grateful for sometimes i do it in the morning sometimes i do it at night sometimes i do both sometimes i don't do it at all obviously that could happen sometimes you don't get around to doing everything but i think i like to do my gratitude every day because sometimes you kind of forget the good in life and you can like feel a little bit shit about something or see something on social media and then you actually think about your day and you think about actually that was it was a really nice day or that someone was out your other half did something nice for your family member did something for you um you realize you had a free coffee you know you had all the stickers or just anything to be grateful for i think if the world was just a smidge bit more grateful it would work a lot better affirmations is the third thing so i think start off with like four even like two affirmations so money comes easily and frequently to me i have my dream body i am i have everything that i desire i'm confident i am strong just pick like two to start with and say that in your mind every day a couple of times and it will just sink in and i think i'm going through this because a couple of years ago like before covid i was so on my personal development like i just felt like my skin was amazing i loved my body my hair was really healthy and i feel like i'm still kind of getting back into the mojo of of all this self-development um, and then the fourth thing is self-love i think when people talk about like manifesting personal development self-love should probably be like number one like i think to wake up and like i have this thing where because i've been like falling off track and feeling a little bit lost while we've been traveling which sounds silly but i think it has to like go down before it goes up i've been like doing out things i need to do every day to just help me so one of the things that brushing my teeth doing my skin brushing my hair whatever but one of them on it is smile for 30 seconds so i'll just look in the mirror and i'll just smile and i'll just appreciate my face because i felt like I felt like my face was changing I didn't feel pretty so just like smiling in the mirror or you know smiling while wearing your underwear or while you're naked just looking at yourself and just loving yourself also maybe getting your partner to do it as well like lying naked in front of them and get them to like examine your body and tell you that they love it and things like that can help but I think self-love is so important that you need to do it yourself um and you can take it from there and you just need to just look at yourself and focus on yourself a little bit more. The last thing I have here is the 17 second rule. 17 seconds feels like such a long time when you start doing this, but when you want to run a or something, I think you need to start off with the 17 second rule and you can watch loads of videos on it. But basically what I do is I set a timer on my phone and I'll just spend 17 seconds just focusing on one thing that I want to manifest. So just like, I'm confident, I'm confident, I'm so confident I can be put in any situation and I'm really confident. And it sounds like crazy that you're repeating this all in your mind a million times, but the more you do it, the easier it gets. And just knowing that you are worthy and you deserve everything that you want in life is so important. And I think 
just doing this more often will help. So there are my five things. But yeah, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And yeah, hopefully this turns out okay and the GoPro because I won't know until I go to edit it later. Um, bye, see you soon. Bye.